background is very bland. I don't know if I like that. Maybe here. Yes? Cottages heist. Like Wolfram. <laughs> I was recording for all that. So it's finals week. So that's why our apartment complex is giving out like a bunch of snacks. So my third year is coming to an end at CSU. As I've said in other videos, I'm a double major. First major is zoology. Second major is fish, wildlife, and conservation biology. Before I came to CSU, I had an idea of the first couple years, but those are all like general classes. There's a lot of classes that are just kind of like gen ed classes, classes that like everyone has to take as a biology or zoology major, general chemistry, uh, physics, uh, a few math classes here and there, um, just the normal STEM classes. But before I came to CSU, I was more interested in the classes that you take in your junior or senior year. Uh, you're more like specialized classes that you can kind of pick and choose from. So what I wanted to do today is basically provide you guys all the classes that I took in my junior year of high school. I mean my junior year of college and kind of not rank them, but give you my honest opinion of how I felt about the class and kind of what it entails and maybe even workload for any of you prospective students that are thinking of coming to Colorado State and wondering what typical classes might look like. And keep in mind that I'm in the honors program, so the AUCC credits, those like gen eds, are switched out for my honors seminars. Nothing against AUCCs, I just take seminars because it fulfills my honors requirement and counts as AUCC credit. Okay, starting off, I took um, BZ330, which is mammalogy. There is a lecture in the lab for this section. It's mammalogy or the study of mammals. Uh, mammals are anything from rodents to humans to chimpanzees uh, to bats, things like that. I really liked the course. It was restructured and the professor that teaches it, Tanya Dewey, is great, she's awesome. I also took the honors breakout section, which is when I meet with the professor and a few other students every week and we do kind of like a little bit of extra work to fulfill the honors credit for it, which was really cool. We got to fill out the animal diversity web uh, for a specific genus. So I did the genus Pongo, which was orangutan, so I just got to learn a lot about orangutans throughout the semester. And then the whole course in general is really cool. You get to learn about different classification of mammals, well, what makes a mammal, uh, mammal conservation, all over the board. It's a really wide range class. There is a bit of memorization in terms of memorizing orders and classification and where things come from, but overall a really fun class and you get to learn about mammals, which is pretty cool. I also had two credits of an internship, which is upper division zoology credit. Um, that was from my internship at the Wolf Sanctuary over the summer. So that was just two credits. What I did was I got an advisor or like a sponsor from the faculty. My old professor, uh, Jennifer Newwald, uh, sponsored the internship. Basically just made sure that I would show up at the internship and I had to like write reflections on what I was doing out there. I got the credit for that. That was great. So those are another two credits in my fall semester. I took FW179. Like I said in previous videos, uh, I just added this past year. I upgraded my fish wildlife conservation biology minor into a major so i had to take the new to major seminar with a bunch of freshmen but it was cool because i kind of just got like an intro to what a freshman would experience when coming into the major and i was a junior so i needed that experience it was a one credit class we met once a week and actually it's the only reason i got my job at the listening lab the teacher for the new to major seminar kind of clicked through a slide about a job opening um, preferred for honor students but they'll take anyone and I kind of went up to her after class and just asked her about it um, she put out the PDF I applied and I've been in the listening lab for a year and it's awesome just so just go to class because you honestly never know what's gonna happen I took FW 469 is the course code uh, it was called the conservation and management of large mammals it's another three credit class uh, taught by George Widemeyer. He's actually my advisor for my honors thesis, which is awesome. This course is offered once every two years in the fall semester. So every other year in the fall on odd years, this course is offered. So definitely keep that in mind when you're planning. A lot of these courses like mammalogy is only offered in the fall. I would highly recommend this course to anyone that wants to be in the conservation field. We met with biologists across the board from U.S. Fish and Wildlife to the Elk Refuge to Wolf Researchers in Yellowstone. Class kind of centers itself on a four day trip to Yellowstone. 
you, the professor, the whole class goes out to Yellowstone National Park, Grand Tetons National Park. I made a video on it, it was great. You can watch it up here. And you also write a research proposal at the end and it's always good to get practice in scientific writing. Can't hurt there. So yeah, that's FW469, great class. I'd recommend it to anybody in the conservation field. And then I took Honors 392, which was an honor seminar. This was, like I said, in place of an AUCC course. My honor seminar was called Coming of Age Movies. We would just watch one movie per week, uh, then we would analyze it with the class and you had to like kind of bring it all together at the end into a full culmination like what is a coming of age movie. Really cool to take a college level course that integrated so much writing and reflection on something I love which are movies. And then for the final project you basically had to take a movie and like argue why you thought it was a coming of age movie like using all the tools we've built all semester. Really cool class. For those of you in the honors program I would recommend taking it. <clears throat> and then I had a class called NR322 is the course code. It was uh, Introduction to Geographic Information Systems. There's a lecture in the lab. Geographic Information Systems is just GIS. GIS in a nutshell is just taking data and putting it on a map and like visualizing it. And this is such a useful tool for anyone in the conservation field. You need to have a really good background in this from cartography to like plotting data to making things look nice. I enjoyed this class so much that I actually want to get under the hood a little bit. So I'm taking programming for GIS next semester. I didn't think I would like map making. I was like, okay, it's an NR class, like a natural resources class. It's an introductory class. I didn't think I would like it. I ended up really liking it. The class was not that hard. The professor that teaches it is really cool too. It was really beneficial and it's something that you can put on your resume or it's a talking point in an interview that you have experience in GIS and that's just an aspect of CSU's natural resource program that kind of a lot of other places don't get. Biggest thing I can say for that class is save your work and get a flash drive. Honestly, awesome class too. So that is it for my first semester of this year or my fall semester. Moving on to my spring classes. Um, the first one we have is BZ310, which is cellular biology. I have a final in it tomorrow. Uh, it was taught by Professor Sala, basically cellular biology or cell bio is exactly how it sounds. It's the biology of a cell, you kind of get into the mitochondria, all that that we learn in high school. I was not a fan of cell bio in high school. I hated learning about organelles and everything like that. This class, super cool. It's pretty broad, it's pretty introductory, and there's a lot of crossover between other classes like BZ350, like genetics, or biochem, BZ, BC351, I think that one is. I enjoyed the class, still pretty easy. There were a lot of people in the class. It's like a big lecture hall. That's probably the only downside of the class is that there are a lot of people that aren't in your major because it's such a broad class that so many other people have to take it. The lab was getting restructured while I was in it. So the lab was a little bit unorganized. That isn't on the professor's fault. That's just on the lab being restructured to fit different needs with COVID and everything like that. So in conclusion, cell bio, still a good class. Lab might need a little bit of work, um, but all in all, my TA was awesome in my lab. Loved him, loved the professor. It's definitely one of those classes that everyone has to take. Uh, so just make the best of it because so many people have to take it. The more you invest into the class, the more you'll get out of it because it's such a general class. After that, I have Honors 492, which is another honor seminar. Uh, this seminar actually last minute got changed because um, with some scheduling the professors kind of moved around So I got placed into a section that I initially had not signed up for the class is called change and it's a very World event focused class. Basically. We had to just take a big issue in the world and like map it out an infographic conduct our own research um, I think me and my group just ran a survey on housing. We took the issue of housing in Fort Collins, stuff like that. Not much more to the class than that. We only met twice a week when we were scheduled to meet three times a week because of the scheduling errors, like I said earlier. This class was pretty fast, but I would say the best part about this class was because you gotta take a big issue, do a big deep dive into it, and then present it to a panel of what you found, what can be done, to present it in a very like visually appealing way, so I got a lot of experience in Canva. But yeah, I liked that class a lot. Uh, Yana, the professor, she didn't even have to take on this course, and she kind of did it as a favor so that we weren't lost in trying to find a section or another place to fill in with our schedule. So she was awesome for even just taking this course. Overall format was great. Uh, we would watch movies sometimes. Uh, we would watch documentaries outside of class and then we would just come together for a discussion. We'd have class-led discussions on issues of our choice. I think me and my partner did um, 
animatronics in zoos or something like that. Just any issue you can think of, you just bring it to the class, have them watch a video about it, really kind of do like a shallow dive into it, and then kind of just talk about it. Really cool class. I was also in BZ335, which is ornithology. There's a lecture and a lab for that one too. Ornithology is the study of birds. I made a video on mist netting from last week. You guys can watch that. It's taught by Kristen Ruig, which she's a great professor in the biology department. Um, I love this class. You learn so much about birds. Honestly, I was not a big bird guy going into this semester. And now at the end of the class, now I'm going birding on the weekends and I'm walking around trying to figure out which bird is which all the time. This class was really fun um, just because the labs were field trip based and lab based. So you would switch off between um, something in the lab, um, kind of looking at bird videos or, or specimens and trying to ID birds versus going out in the field and um, doing bird counts, mist netting. TAs were awesome, professor was awesome. Can't say enough good things about ornithology. Super great class at CSU. All the exams are weekly, so there's no big final or anything like that. I wouldn't put it as a hard class at all at CSU. It's taught only in the spring, so like I said, mammalogy is taught in the fall, ornithology is taught in the spring. Um, so definitely keep that in mind when you're trying to plan things out. Then we have FW375. I think this was another three credit class, and it was called Field Wildlife Studies. I made a video on it earlier. Basically just meet once a week in this class, discuss an issue going on in Colorado about something conservation, natural resource related. But then the whole class is focused on a week long field trip where you go and you meet with biologists and conservationists and researchers all around Colorado. I had some of the most fun I've ever had in this course in college. I've made some really close friends in the course. Can't say enough good things about it. It's not a hard class to get an A in either. I would recommend it for anybody that is trying to find new career opportunities because it exposed me to so much. Uh, Colorado Parks and Wildlife officers to US Fish and Wildlife researchers to national refuge managers, sage grouse researchers, just really across the board, um, a bunch of careers and experience and how people got to where they are, um, even for service workers, really great class. So that was that. And then lastly, we have FW544, which I think is a three credit class. Uh, FW544 is a graduate and undergraduate level class. It's called ecotoxicology. Ecotoxicology is basically the field of like contaminants, anthropogenically caused pollutants, that are affecting our ecosystems, how we're dealing with them, how we're kind of trying to remediate them, what we can do about it, um, what we're not doing about it, where the field is lacking. But honestly, I was not a big fisheries guy before this. It is taught by an aquatics based professor. I didn't really have a whole lot of knowledge about like benthic invertebrates or stable isotrophic dating, things like that. Really cool concepts based on pollutants, but they actually take a lot of science and math and kind of like mush it all together in this really cool emerging field called ecotoxicology. With us pulling out so much from the ground, we're mining so much and we're releasing so much into the atmosphere with uh, non-renewables, things like that. Super, super interesting class. I had a great time in it. Um, because the class is broken into two lectures per week. So you would listen to a lecture about anything from sediment transfer uh, to global warming. And then uh, you have one discussion per week where everybody, the whole class, reads a few scientific papers. The whole class comes together and like just discusses what the papers meant, what we liked about the papers, what we didn't like about the papers, where they could have improved. I partnered up with another undergraduate and we write a research proposal and you get it peer reviewed by other classmates and then you make tweaks and then you submit it. Really cool class, it can be daunting when you have to think about the chemistry of the pollutants and then how it interacts with these massive food webs and everything like that. But it's really not a chemistry based class, it's an ecology based class. Um, and it's a smaller class with grad students um, that are really interested in the topic. So I wouldn't take this class as just a filler class. I enjoy the class a lot. Um, not a hard class to get a good grade in either. As long as you show up to the discussions and make it and be engaged, you'll be fine. All right, so that is actually all the classes I've taken this semester. Sorry for the really long video. Let me know any questions you guys have in the comments about any of them. My classes this semester were much more what I really wanted to do. There were a couple classes that I had to take like cell bio or GIS, but those classes turned out to be really fun too. Nobody pays me to say this. I would have given you guys an honest review if I hated the class, if I didn't like it, I would have told you don't take this class. If you can get away from it, none of the classes this semester 
I would ever tell somebody don't take. On the zoology side, you had things like cell bio, mammalogy, ornithology. I got to do polymerase chain reactions and Western blots in the cell bio lab. That's stuff that a lot of kids don't have access to. And then I got to do field wildlife studies, conservation of large mammals. I got to take these awesome field trips, get really close with professors, make new friends. Wish me luck on finals. I'll see you guys in another few weeks. Take care.